Our most life-changing event is behind us and our to-do list awaits, so it's time to get to building. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the homestead. Today, we are down here at the bottom working on the barn. We have, oh, what, 25 meat chickens? 25 meat chickens that we need to get out of the barn. We want to make like a nice outside enclosure for them right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think we should get right after it. Let's do it. So when Homestead Rescue left our place here, um, it's actually going to go the other way. You go to the other side. They left us these big panels that they had built. And Liz and I, oh yeah, it fits. So go to the skinniest point. Liz and I want to use them here. Oh yeah, they definitely fit. So check this out, guys. So they have we have these panels, and we got a pile of them back here. We're gonna set these up, and uh, essentially a three-sided square, I believe, right? Uh, yep. Use the barn as like one of the sides. Yep. Yeah. So there'll be three of these off the wall, over this way, and then back to the wall of the barn, which is the shipping container here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, should go pretty smooth. Doesn't have to be set up the way it is right here. Homestead Rescue set us up really nicely with a super solid base. So basically an empty shipping container that we can do anything we want with. Right now we have our meat chickens in the chicken tractor that we just moved inside the barn because the movable fence that we used our earlier batch of meat chickens for is being used for the sheep. Um, so these guys have outgrown this. We need to move them to a bigger area where they can go a lot longer with food and with water um, and have more space to kind of like spread out. So that is the point with this, with the shelter on the outside of the barn. Eventually, we really want to cut a little hole so the chickens would be able to go in and out, but we're gonna have to section off part of the barn on the inside here with stalls. We are going to use this auger to drill these ho holes, hopefully. So Liz and I bought this auger with intentions of using it up on our retaining wall build. We haven't quite done that yet, but we do have plans to try it. Um, so this will be the first time using this thing. It's just a cheap auger off of Amazon. One of the bigger, cheaper ones I could find. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it drills these holes. We'll see, this is pretty rock. See if it even starts. So we got these holes dug, definitely faster and less strenuous than the post hole digger. The auger has a little bit of a learning curve. It's heavy, it bucks really bad. Um, it's a little dangerous, especially like up against this metal building, um, but we got them. They're ready for the posts to go in the ground. So we got these down. These are the tops of some cedar logs um, that we actually already have down at the bottom. We just retrieved these from back in the woods. But I think they're gonna work perfectly um, for what we're using them for. We just need to get them measured to size and then cut and get them in the ground. Let's cut them at five. And a little extra post is the worst thing.
prefer soft hands or rough hands on the lady? Soft. <laughs> I need one. All right, you guys, before we get any further, I would like to thank Discount Lots, which is the sponsor of today's video. Have you ever dreamed of owning your own land, but thought that it was way too expensive or maybe the dream was too big? Well, with Discount Lots, anybody can own their own property at a great price. Discount Lots has a vast selection of land and finding the perfect piece is insanely simple. You will find off-market properties that will not appear on typical real estate listings. Discount Lots is able to sell their properties at crazy low prices because there is no commission and no fees. And plus, with no credit checks and no formal underwriting process, you can own your property outright at the end of the agreement. Buying land with Discount Lots is cheap, fast, and easy. And with payments of less than $200 a month, it's affordable for almost anybody. So if you guys are interested in buying your dream piece of property today, head over to Discount Lots website where you can talk to a manager or to make it even more simple, you can buy your property online without having to talk to anybody. Plus, for an extra 10% discount, use our promo code. Thank you, Discount Lots, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to work. Okay, we made our first decent mistake. This pole is out of line. We marked the hole wrong and oh. didn't catch it until we we're ready to put this other panel up. It's pretty far off. Um, maybe like five inches. So it doesn't reach. We're pulling it out. We have to drill another hole, restart. Okay, that augering is no joke. It's almost about as hard as digging it with a postal digger. I right know. Hand. Yeah, it, you could see like just how jerky that was. It's like being on a fucking horse. I guess that was a B, a bucking horse. A bucking horse. Yeah. Oh yeah, a bucking um, horse. I guess it depends on the <laughs> soil. Yeah. Um, True. If you're, it depends on what you're digging into. I think we were hitting all the roots that we buried here a couple mm -hmm. months ago. Yeah, earlier this spring, we leveled this place out and buried a bunch of stuff. Um, so yeah, I think Mike's right. We were digging into some major roots and whatever else, but we got it and we measured this panel, make sure it fits before we started tamping. So we're good to go. It fits. It fits. But it needs to be the same height. Okay, so right now it needs to be a little lower for it. Okay, so dig some out. Common. It looks pretty good to me. So that's kind of the nice thing about using the dry box as one of the walls. The walls are just about done. We are gonna do just some strips of wood here rather than doing the actual panel. But I think that'll work just fine.
Okay, we have this thing ready to get the chickens out of the barn and into their new little enclosure. Yeah. So this will be fun, kind of wrangling chickens. Uh, we don't have far to move them, but there's 25 of them, so we'll we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we have to not let them slip out this gate here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we can do Let's it. Let's try this. Come on. Okay, we have all the chicks in there, safe and sound. Um, next step is to get the hinges on this little gate. Yep. And then I think we're done done. I need these screws over here. Okay, so let's get that going. Kind of cool thing about this gate is it was the gate that we used for our garden back in the day when the garden was right here. Luckily, all the wood was still good, so we're able to reuse it for this. All right, you guys, the chickens are doing great in their new enclosure. We have about five or six weeks before it is butcher time for these guys. Um, these are Rainbow Rangers, very similar to the Freedom Rangers that we've already done. Um, just a little bit of a difference. So they're doing really well. They're healthy. Um, and yeah, I think they're liking their outdoor enclosure. It's a lot more room than they had inside and it gives the sheep more room inside the barn. So thank you very much for watching this video, you guys. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up and we will see you in the next one.